All right, in our last few episodes, we have been learning about how to create executables using various binary builders in Python. In this episode, we'll be looking at how to create an installer. The main reason for this is that you normally don't want to distribute all these files to your, to your friend's computer. You want to give them an installer so they can just run it and install all the stuff that they need to. So for this particular tutorial, we'll be looking at NO Setup, which is a nice free installer program on Windows that we can download and use. There are other ones like NSIS that's fairly popular, and there are, of course, even Microsoft branded installers, although those may cost money depending on which one you get. So let's go ahead and open up NO Setup and try to create uh, an installer for our example program. So I'll open up NO. Bring this over here. Let's create a new file using the script wizard. So you can actually do pretty much everything you want with this NO setup script. So next, we'll call this WX GUI. We don't need a really fancy name for it. Zero 01. Let's just leave those alone. Next. Here you can change the location for where it's going to be installed. I would just leave this blunt where at the default for now, because program files is normally where you want to install your program. It guesses your application folder name, which is fine for this in this case. You can actually allow the user or disallow the user to change the application folder. We'll leave that alone. Let's go ahead and browse for our exe. So we know that's in documents and dist example and our example exe. Now don't forget this step, we want to actually add a bunch of other files. So let's grab all these other files except for example exe. And we'll add all of those because we actually need all of those. It depends on all these DLLs and extra files. Here we can tell it what shortcuts we want. Do we want a start menu? Do we want an internet shortcut or an uninstall icon in the start menu? I'm learning to allow the user to create a desktop icon. We could also allow them to create a quick launch icon, but I'm just going to use the defaults. So next, here is where you'd add a license file. A lot of free and open source programs include a license file, and a lot of professional uh, programs you'd have to buy include what's known as the EULA, or the End User License Agreement. So that's where you would add that if you wanted to. You can also share information before you install and after you install. Like maybe you want to tell them, hey, this, is, this thing has lots of dependencies and here is what they are. And then afterwards you might tell them, thank you for installing my program. Uh, you can get more information at XYZ, you know. Next, you set your languages. We're going to go with English. A lot of this stuff doesn't matter for what we're doing. If you want to know more about it, I recommend reading the documentation, but this is this is all fine. Next, we're going to let it do compiler directives and finish. And we're going to let it go ahead and compile our script. And we'll save it. We'll call this example. Actually, let's call this sample. That way it doesn't conflict with the other one. Save, and it's going to go through and make our exe, our installer exe. You can see it's doing a lot of compressing, which is kind of cool. So now we have what should be a setup file, but I'm not sure where it saved it. So let's go try to find that. Doesn't look like it put it in here, but we have a new output, and here's a setup.exe. I'm going to make this window a little bit smaller so you can see what's going on here. Let's scroll over. You'll notice that this setup.exe is 5 me megabytes. And if you remember before, out here, when we select everything, well, without the output, of course. It's 19.5 megabytes. So if you want to distribute something that's a lot smaller, go ahead and create the installer because it's going to compress it really, really well. So let's go ahead and try running this and see if it works the way we want it to. 
here is double click on this yes we want to run it oops drag this over here you'll notice that it put our WX GUI set up in there so we'll go next here's where it's going to actually install it next and here's where it's going to put this that's the name of the set, uh, start menu icon which is fine create a desktop icon next install and it says it's done let's try to launch it and see if it works hey it launched and we just created an installer that installed our program so let's go ahead and close that and close that and make sure everything else works all right so we have this let's run it and it works now if you want to change your icon you're probably going to have to start digging around either in here or in python to find out how to change it this is, it happens to be the pi installer icon that it, it does by default but you can do lots of different things with this particular program you may need to learn uh, in our setups own scripting language just a little bit so you can modify this i've had to do that in the past where certain dll's aren't in that folder with your example exe and you need to include them or you may need to tell it to not to use those files there's lots of different options that you can do this this program has lots of cool features so check out the documentation when you get a chance at this point you should know how to be able to create your own setup file using the executable information that we did in the last four episodes so now you can take executable you've created and all of its support supporting files wrap them up in an installer and give that to your friend and they can use your program i hope you enjoyed this and that you've learned a lot throughout this entire series thank you so much for watching